video for my first SmackDown review of 2014. We kick it off with the Usos versus uh, two thirds of the Shield, Rollins and Reigns. While Dean Ambrose is on commentary before the match, Ambrose got on the mic and, and said that uh, there was no make put an end to all the rumors that uh, the dissension, dissension in the ranks of the Shield claiming that the Shield have had setbacks, but that just make, but it only makes them stronger. As Wallace and Ways each agreed, uh, they took on the Usos, and <laughs> it did work for a moment as if the Usos were about to win via a double team <laughs> uh, maneuver, but uh, the double team dived, the double dived through the rope, but uh, uh, Dean Ambrose jumped off the announcement position and uh, <laughs> grabbed one of the Usos and pulled him out of the ring, allowing for a double team on the other Uso inside the ring. The ref, the ref called a disqualification and gave the match to the Usos, but they were still getting beat down until CM Punk came out and made the save. <laughs> the, uh, this brought out Vicky Guerrero, who, during the commercial break on the WWE app, made a six-man tag. Uh, main event match for tonight. Punk and the Usos taking on all three of the three of the Shield, uh, which I kind of saw coming. But the one thing I really love was uh, Dean Ambrose on commentary. He's uh, <clears throat> being grilled by Michael Cole about the uh, decision in the ranks of the Shield and. Ambos basically tells him to be a star. He actually says be a star. Uh, tells, tells uh, Cole he's being a bully and tells him to be a star. That's awesome. Uh, but uh, after the commercial break, we come back and it's Pandango in the ring to take on All Truth, who comes out with Xavier Woods, who wants, who also gets on commentary. And just as it looked like Pandango was about to win. Uh, Xavier jumped up on the announce table and called for the Punk Adactyls to come out and start dancing again, just like they did Monday. And that caused the distraction, just like Monday, which led to Archie oh, picking up another win, which I was really surprised at. But I think it's kind of weird that the Hard Truth and Xavier Woods get away with uh, blatantly cheating when most guys. We'll probably get in trouble, but whatever. But uh, we still got about an hour and a half of SmackDown left, so let's see how it all continues. Mm. Goldust and Cody Rhodes retain the tag team championships. They're not really uh, near loss on their part. So uh, the Wyatt's won. We control most of the match until uh, uh, till Goldust caught a blind tag. On Cody and rolled up and rolled up Eric Rollins with a one, two, three. Uh, the interesting part of the match was the fact that uh, Bray Wyatt, the walking chair, was outside the ring, but there was no Bray Wyatt, no Daniel Bryan. But they did say that uh, apparently Brie Bella, Daniel's uh, fiance, apparently says that she talked to Bryan and he seems he said he was uh, fine, but they have no idea where he is. No boy Wyatt tonight with the Wyatt family. Uh, As they lost their shot at the tag team titles. In my opinion, I believe there's been rumors, there's been rumors going around that uh, on the net, on the web, that uh, the Undertaker has had picked Daniel Bryan to be his WrestleMania 30 opponent. In my opinion, this could be leading to a huge storyline. Well, Daniel Bryan somehow gets involved with The Undertaker and ends up facing him at WrestleMania 30. I'm not saying he's going to beat him. I'm not saying he's going to... But I am saying that he's... Uh, could be the next challenger to the uh, Undertaker's WrestleMania streak. But we'll have to wait to see where this goes. The next match, after the commercial break, we come back and it's uh, Evil Action 
with that sort of taking on with a leaky bill. I'm still wondering where the hell is AJ, but uh, but uh, Nikki Bella gets a win over Oxana. Didn't really care about the match. Didn't really see who, how she won, but I know Nikki won. Uh, after another commercial break, we come back and it's time for the Intercontinental Champion thing. He likes to, to take on Curtis Axel in a one on one match, non title match. Uh, Biggie basically wins over uh, Curtis Axel and hits him with a big ending for the one, two, three. Uh, uh, successfully getting a win over the former Intercontinental Champion in a non-title match. So apparently Curtis Axel will be getting a wee match anytime soon. But uh, we got about 30 minutes left on <coughs> SmackDown, so let's see how the rest of the show continues. CM Punk and the Usos get a big win. And he tag team. Uh, main event tonight. The, uh, it's the Shield, uh, the Shield had a little bit of miscommunication as Dean Ambrose, uh, spent more time at the ring than he probably should have. It looked like, uh, Ambrose was in trouble, but, uh, uh, instead of tagging out to Roman Reigns, he, uh, opted to stay in the match, which cost him, uh, the, um, at one point, uh, at one point it looked like he was in control until the, until the Usos came back, and after being knocked out by Roman Reigns, they came back and kicked Reigns out of the ring, and, uh, Set it up, thought, uh, uh, and they both tossed uh, Seth Rollins over the rope, setting up uh, Punk and Ambrose in the ring. Ambrose tried to take uh, take a cheap shot, but got caught in the GTS for the one, two, three. Uh, after the Usos hit their double dive on both Rollins and Reigns, kicked them out of the ring. Punk picks up the win, and it seems to be more deception. Deception. Dissension in the ranks of the Shield. Not sure where this is going, but there are rumors that Roman Reigns could be replaced, or he could leave the Shield, and they could find a new member. I have it. Uh, I do know who the new member could be, or it's rumored to be, but I'm not gonna spread rumors or lies on this uh, page. So we'll have to wait and see how this turns out with the Shield. But a really good SmackDown, in my opinion. Next, but uh, next Monday will be even bigger. The old school war, the first war of 2014. It's uh, probably this will be a special one. So like, subscribe, and comment, and uh, look out for my GWA uh, videos to start also next Monday. With GWA WWE War.